Hi, welcome back to Kiwi Wanderers. Hey, this week, very important subject, we're talking brakes. Now, you wouldn't drive your car if you knew the brakes weren't working, uh, but it's easier than you think to use your caravan without the brakes working. So we're gonna run through today what the simple brake tests we do before we go our Jayco caravan. So if you think this is something that may help you, then think about subscribing uh, because that makes me smile. Anyway, caravan safety systems are like a lot of systems on vehicles today. They, uh, you only need them to work properly when uh, you really need them. <laughs> uh, and most of the time they're just, uh, yeah, they're just along for the ride, you know. Like all the systems on your car, you probably have lots of systems that you have never used on, uh, on most late model cars. Stability control, uh, anti-lock brakes, pre-tension seat belts, I hope you've never used those. Airbags, don't want to use those. Lane departure, There's, uh, they have some new stuff out now. There's things like automatic emergency braking that applies the brakes when the computer thinks there's a, there's a situation nearing. Safety exit assist, which stops you or your kids uh, opening the doors if there's a car or bike approaching uh, from behind in the blind spot. Facial recognition software, which detects if you're not paying attention and gives you a little beep on the dash. Thankfully, all the systems in your car uh, don't get much use, but when they're not working, they will give you a warning, and uh, usually a light on the dash, so you can, you can do something about it. Caravans have safety systems as well, like uh, stability control, tire pressure monitoring, fully adjustable brake controller from the tow vehicle, and of course, a breakaway system in case the worst happens and your van comes unhitched. Now some of these systems will let you know there's a fault and some don't. So we've got into a bit of a routine of checking all these systems every time before we set off. All part of our launch list which I'll, I'll link below our launch list. All of these systems apart from the tire pressure monitoring rely on your brake adjustment being correct. So that's the first thing to try and check. So one of the first things that'll happen if your brakes are out of adjustment, the handbrake won't work. Um, you can usually tell if the brakes are getting out of adjustment because the handbrake will come up further than, than it normally does. So I have a little pen mark on my handbrake arrangements as I know when it's, when it's gone further. Uh, and that could mean that the brakes are, are starting to wear. On my caravan, the handbrake is only on the front axle, so it sort of just checks that axle, but it's an indication of how the brakes have worn. So test number one, we do that with the car hitched up, handbrake on, see if we can move off normally. If you feel some resistance, that's a pass. Test number two, electronic stability control lights. So next, when the van's all connected up electrically, the ESC has a warning system on the drawbar. It should flash, should go red, and then light up with four green lights. This means that the system has power and is working normally. If you don't get the four green lights, unplug the tow vehicle, plug it back in again, but like rebooting your computer, might work. Test number three, breakaway. This test is to see if the breakaway system is working. It's a relatively easy thing to do. You just pull the tag out of the breakaway module, uh, this should bring on the brake lights on, and if fitted with a warning buzzer like ours is, uh, it'll go off in the van. Also try once again to move the van, so this checks that all the wheels, not just the front axle, and it checks that the brake adjustment is okay, and the electrics to the brake are working properly. Test number four, emergency brakes. So once I've got all the checks done, including the tyre pressure monitoring, which I'll talk about soon, um, and everything's good, we slowly move off just like one mile an hour, or, you know, 1.5 kilometres an hour, and then push the uh, emergency stop. The caravan should jolt to a stop, and that just makes sure that all our electrics are working, the brake adjustment's there, and the brake controller's talking to the van. So, test number one fails, you need to get that sorted before you go any further because if you don't have the brakes adjusted correctly, none of the other systems are going to work how they should. So if this test fails, it's a visit to any workshop for a brake adjustment, not a big job. If the ESC light comes up with errors, there's quite a good fault light sheet for the Alco ESC that's fitted to a lot of the Aussie vans um, and I'll try and attach a link to that below but it's 
probably really a visit to an RV guy to see what's happening. Breakaway system, so if that fails, uh, then it's probably a visit to auto electrician is required. And if your van doesn't stop when the, you do the brake control or emergency check, then it's probably an auto electrician as well. So that's all our brakes all checked. Uh, as I said before, the tyre pressure monitoring system is a great feature. Um, so if one of our van tyre pressure goes down, uh, you can pick that up, uh, you know, like a nail or something would pick you up and uh, pick that up and it would give you a warning. Um, and so you can pull over to the side of the road before it completely disintegrates and destroys half your van. Also, if the temperature rises on a, on a tyre, it will give you a warning. Uh, this could be because of a wheel bearing starting to fail, making everything hot. Could be the brakes locked on, you know, or something. Uh, or it could be some suspension problem, making the, the tyres wear on a different angle and heating them up. So, yeah, I think tyre pressure monitoring is, uh, is quite a good safety system and it comes standard on the old silver line, which is, which is great. So, there we have it. Checking the safety systems on our caravan before we need them. Hey, please leave me a comment below if you had anything, have anything to add to this, to this uh, video. Sharing the information is what this all about. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, great to share the knowledge for everyone's benefit. Hey, lots of good videos coming up. Please think about subscribing if you got something out of this video. See you next time.